Okay, and welcome to our video on the basics of the guitar. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the acoustic guitar, but the same principles principles could apply to an electric guitar as well. Um, this is actually a support video for our Year 7 students following our integrated curriculum at Bayliss Court. And I'm Mr Kelleher, the Head of Music. There's going to be three videos in this series, the second of which will be from Mr Canier, our new brass specialist, who will be teaching you how to play the trumpet. And the third one will be from Miss Lancaster, our visiting string specialist, who will be teaching you how to play the violin. So this is the guitar's fretboard, which is on the neck of the guitar. And it helps for me to think of it a bit like a spreadsheet on a computer in a program like um, Excel or Numbers. So I think of it in terms of rows and columns. So if we take the rows, the ones that go across horizontally, we've got the strings for that on the guitar. And we number each string, one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. And that helps us to refer to each string as the first string, the third string, or the sixth string, like that. Number one is the thinnest string you've got. It should be the one furthest away from your head if you're holding the guitar properly. The sixth string is the thickest one. And the number gets higher for the thicker the string goes. So the third string is thinner than the fourth string, and the fifth string is thicker than the fourth string. Okay, so that's the rows, the ones that go across are the strings. For the columns on a guitar, we would have the frets. And just like in a um, spreadsheet, we don't actually refer to the line itself as being the column, it's the space between each fret that we think of as being the column, as where we put our information. So specifically, we'd give each gap a number, one, two, three, four, five, and again, we'd refer to them as the first fret or the fourth fret or the second fret. And it's really important when you're playing that your finger goes right in the middle of that gap, otherwise the sound can end up buzzing or not quite coming out as clearly as you'd like. And you need to make sure you press down really, really quite tight for at first. It will get easier as you go on, as your fingers get stronger. But you need to really push down to really get that nice sound out and your fingers got to be right in the middle of each fret. With your other hand you'll be holding a plectrum which is sometimes referred to as a pick and we've got nice little Jim Dunlop grey ones in the music department here that look just like this. You need to hold it at a right angle from your hand. right? So in your right hand if you had your thumbnail pointing at you it should be coming out and pointing to your left. Okay. So if we look at it from another angle, see how it's got held between your thumb and your index finger like that to give you the maximum amount of control when you're playing. Make sure it's not too tight, but it's not going to fall out or fall into the guitar, as sometimes happens. And you'd rest it against the string until you're ready to play. And today we're not strumming, we're just picking. So we're doing one string at a time. And today we'll be focusing on the fourth string pictured here with my plectrum resting against it. So you're going to want to make sure that your plectrum is resting on the fourth string and that you can just pick that one string without strumming all of them. You might want to give that a try now. So pause the video. Okay, so we're going to be learning hot cross buns today. This is the same piece that you'll learn on trumpet and the same piece you'll learn on violin as well. So we're all going to learn how to play this. Every note, as I said, can be found on the fourth string. So remember to count from the thinnest one, one, Next thinnest two, next thinnest three, next thinnest finish. Ne next thinnest is the fourth one, and that's the string we're going to be working on today. Okay, so the first note is F sharp, and that can be found on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And it's very, very helpful if you play that on the fourth fret of the fourth string with your ring finger. Okay, so that's thumb, index, middle, ring and that makes it much easier to play the rest of the piece. Because the next note you see is E, which is on the second fret of the fourth string. Second fret of the fourth string. And again, this time you're going to want to play it with your index finger. So that's thumb, index finger. And make sure the finger goes right in the middle of those two frets, so it's bang smack in the middle of the second gap. Okay, and then finally, the easiest one is D where you can literally, if you want to, you could take your hand right away and just pick the string open. Open means you don't have any fingers on the fretboard, and that will give you a D, as long as it's the fourth string you're picking. And as I say, no fingers at all for that. And as I say as well, 
Also, only pick the fourth string of the guitar, otherwise this is going to sound terrible. Um, we want it to sound wonderful. So here's some sheet music of that. Just to remind you that we're playing F sharp, E, then D. And a reminder of what that would look like on the fretboard. So there's F sharp, fourth string, fourth fret, moving to E, staying on the fourth string, but playing it on the second fret, and then D, playing it open. Here's a video, here's the first phrase. And again. And one more time. Okay. So we need to play the second phrase now, which is D again four times, followed by E again four times, and then we repeat the first phrase again. So let's have a look at that. And again. Okay. Now let's look at the whole thing with just the right hand. Notice it's only the fourth string being picked. Okay. And that concludes our lesson on the basics of the guitar and how to play hot cross buns. I imagine you'll need to watch this video again. So feel free to use the scan bar to pick the bits you need to look at. And this is all available from our YouTube page, which is youtube.com forward slash Bayless Court Music. Thank you very much. And Mr. Canier will be teaching the next lesson on this one. Bye-bye.